and today we're talking about the Johnny Five edition. Hello! Please call me Johnny Five. Of the Slammed Squirt 2. This is my interpretation of a Squirt 2 build and I kind of based it off the quad standard labs build that you can actually go buy right now and select the Johnny Five code and get a custom built one for you. Now that is probably what I would say the most used cinematic production tool out there on the market. And I'm using all of the Drone Co pieces. And actually these ducks are printed by Chris Teal over at Drone Co himself. So if you wanna buy a frame, even if you're a 3D printer, you really want the ducks to be perfect. And so even though I have multiple printers, I actually got these ducks from him. I did print the rest of the pieces out myself to give it this really nice black and silverish gray colorway and man it flies perfect now what's significant about the johnny five edition a lot of the johnny five builds are going to accomplish one specific goal compared to the standard sort of build out there and so my version is taking the quad standard labs version which i think is the best combination of parts out there and reducing weight I reduced weight by almost 60 grams with this combination right here. And I'm gonna tell you all the ways that I did it. First of all, I'm using the same power system that Quad Standard Labs uses. And I feel like that's the best combination of motors. I've used all the ones out there. I've used the big wide fat 2000 um, FPV cycle motors. Those work really well, but for having a good combination of being able to go slow, I use these Brother Hobby 1507 3100 KV motors on 6S. Now what I really like about the Squirt 2 is the how wide the top plate is. So I can fit a full size 6S battery on there, a 1400 if I want extra flight time, or I can use a lightweight 1100 um, if I just want to have the lowest weight possible. Now, how did I get the weight down? First of all, I use the Cadex Vista unit. Hasta la vista, baby. Instead of the air unit uh, that Quad Standard Labs uses. And the second thing that I did was that I used an all-in-one board. This is the J Hemku 20 by 20 single layer board with an ESC on board. Did you know that that even exists? I'll have a link for that below if you want to snag one up. That reduces the weight significantly. This this single layer board is not a whoop mount. It's 20 by 20. It can do, I think, 30 or 35 amps. So it's plenty for 6S at three inch and it just brings the weight down so low. Uh, I do have a capacitor in there in order to save weight additional. I also use no hardware to mount the Vista. I just used um, 3M 30 pound mounting tape in order to mount it to the bottom plate right there. Of course, I'm using Crossfire because I want the strongest control link out there. Yes, I'm using Express LRS for a lot of things these days, but for long range or things where I absolutely need to be able to fly without ever worrying about that control link, I want Crossfire on board and that's what I'm using. I really, really love the Drone Coast system of mounting. The camera mount for this brings the camera a little bit far forward, meaning that you're never gonna get any of these ducks in the view of your FPV feed. And it also has a custom mounting um, thing right here. This is a lightweight mount for the Hero 9. It also has a slot in there to be able to put an ND filter, which is quite nice as well. So you can get the juiciest footage possible. What are you guys doing in the comments? What are you doing for Cinewoops? Are you trying bigger things? For me, this is going to be what I'm going to need. I'm not really going to need the terraplane to be able to follow people in cars um, or anything like that. I think that's really the main use for that. I really like, I'm not going to be bashing my Cinewoop. So for me, Slam Square 2 is where it starts, stops, and ends. But I still may be trying that terraplane out very, very soon for those of you that do need a little bit more juice. What are you using for Cinewoop? What camera are you using? Are you still on the Hero 8, 7, 6? Are you up to the 10? Did you move over to that DJI action thingy? What are you doing, guys? 